What's up guys? My name is Young Easy. I'm, I'm 28 years old and today I am here for my pre-op uh, for a breast reduction. Honestly, I have struggled with my breasts being very big for quite some time now and you know this is kind of emotional for me because you know um, I've always wanted a breast reduction because of my spine my back problems and like just the pain and stuff like that and even being comfortable and you know what I wear finally like come in and get this breast reduction it kind of means like a lot to me and it's really close to my heart you know um, but I, I am kind of nervous. I've never had any surgery. Um, so I, I'm just praying, you know, Dr. Williams is gonna get me right, you know, but jokes aside, like, ah, like this is something like huge for me. And I'm just super, super excited, nervous, anxious to get it tomorrow. It's going down, it's official. And uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm excited. If you've been wanting a breast reduction your entire life and you've been having all these excuses, well, maybe like me, like I'm worried because I wanna have kids or I'm worried it's, it's maybe it's too soon, I wanna wait later in life, I would just say just do it now so you can be happy. It is, it's something I feel like that's gonna make a big difference. I mean, I don't know yet, but I'm assuming that it will be a huge difference and just go for it and live for you. Hey, it's Dr. William. I'm here with Easy. She's come in from the West Coast all the way to Miami. LA. And we are going to be talking about a breast reduction. Yep. Full fun. disclosure, I've already seen Easy. We've already had like a formal con uh, consultation. We've mm -hmm. talked about everything. We're going to kind of just review things again. Right. Just to kind of go through things. It's so happening. It's happening. Okay. You. It's you. I'm excited. You. <laughs> I need them gone. Take them off, Doc. Let's go. Okay, so. Tell, tell me what, what you're interested in and just disclose whatever you feel like disclose. Right. I don't want to make it too personal, obviously. But. So pretty much, I literally just want a breast reduction my entire life. Well, not my entire life, but after high school, they just was like big, big, you know? And then my, my posture just went from this to this, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, dang, my neck, my back, everything, my crap, everything. <laughs> but it was literally just uh, a lot of pressure. And I actually got x-rays and my spine is kind of messed up because of my hunchback. So I'm just like, yo, my mom went through it, um, having big breasts, my aunts, everybody. So it's time for me to do it. I'm just like, it's genetic. I need a, I need a reduction. You know, these need to be little, little small, tiny. Mm -hmm. it, as small as you can get. So, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's basically, you've said everything that I've heard, yeah. like literally hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. Patients with large breasts, yeah. it's a genetic thing. The breasts start out, they're, they're just genetically made wide. Yeah. So they get big, they get heavy, and then they cause all the problems. I don't know if they cause problems with the crack, but <laughs> usually, usually it's problems with the neck and the yeah. back. Uh, patients are, you know, can't exercise, they have a difficult time yeah. finding clothes. And I'm like, you know, jumping, it's like my boobs, one boobs going this way, the boobs going that way. I'm just like <laughs> trying to jump rope, you know what I'm saying? Like, or when I'm sleeping, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot of movement going on, you know? So we're going to do a breast reduction, um, which, uh, you know, making her breast smaller. And it's a big scar. It's, a, it's all the way around the areola, down underneath, and then it's an anchor pattern. And so I like to be really forthright and upfront with how long the scar is because I have to make the scar as wide as the breast is. I got some wide boobs. And so yeah, that's why wide. your breasts are big. That's why you're here. If you had a narrow breast, you wouldn't have like a big heavy breast. You yeah. would have a saggy breast maybe, but not, you know, something that was really bothering you its way. So yeah. it's a, it's a, a anchor pattern scar mm -hmm. um, gonna make your breast she really you really want to go small yeah I'm gonna make you as small as I can as I mentioned I have to mm -hmm. leave some volume there to be able to get the best shape so yeah. patients like easy are very easy for me because you know they want to be small <laughs> small 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 yeah so for me it actually makes my job simpler because mm -hmm. what I do is I make your breasts as small as I can yeah but I have to keep a little bit of tissue behind in order to, number one, preserve the blood supply, mm -hmm. right? That we talked about to the nipple and the areola. So I have to have a certain width of that breast there. Yeah. And then um, we have to leave enough volume to have a shape. Keep cute. Keep cute. Keep we, yeah. Yeah. Keep cute. We don't, like don't want to go from, you know, 100 to zero. You guys get that visual of like, all right, went from this to that. You know what I'm saying? So let's look, I'll show you. I'm not gonna, I'm not, don't look at my gut too much. Don't focus on the gut. Let me pull up my drawers. And now we're not working with tomorrow. 
We're, more, we're not working on what? With your gut. You said. No. No, just not boobs. the gut. Just the boobs. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just the boobs. So yeah. All right. So this is number four. Remember these. <laughs> they will be no longer. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready, bro. Let's go. Let's right, do it. Very good. We'll Let's see you tomorrow. Let's get it popping. All right. Bye-bye. Right, we out. So today's a day. Man, I didn't think that I would be nervous, nervous like this. Like, I feel like I'm shaking. Come on, baby. My baby's here. Of course, it support me. Oh, you know. I'm nervous. Are you ready for today? I mean, ready as I'm gonna ever be. What do you think? You think I should be nervous? No, of course not. No? You're gonna have to look at yourself. Yeah? All right, man. Dr. Williams, if if something happens, I'm gonna tell my girl to come in there and get him, knock him out. All right, y'all signing right here? Yeah. Yes. Are we gonna have nothing? Morning. Right this way? Yeah, right this way. When you need to wear holding the back, okay? Your compression socks, that's for your hand. Bye, my love. You okay? It's okay. You okay? I'm back. What's up, you guys? I'm Young Easy, and can you see the difference? Look at me. I mean, just look the side. Look at me. Look at you, and then I look at my boobs. They're smaller. A lot smaller. The belly is, is still there. I'm working on it, but the boobs. Dr. Williams, my boy. I'm back. Okay, so it's been three months since my breast reduction surgery, and honestly, I feel like this is like literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know, I feel like I still feel a little bit of swelling. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I can run, I can move, I can twerk, you know what I'm saying? I can do all of that, but breast reduction and uh, part of the itty bitty titty committee, you know? So the recovery process was honestly, it was easy at first, and then it got a little tough, and then it got hard again, and then it got easy, then it got tough. So I feel like in the beginning, it was kind of tough for me because I'm fresh out of surgery, you know, open wounds, but thankfully I had my girlfriend there to help me. Like I couldn't get up, I couldn't shower, I couldn't use the bathroom by myself. But then after about like three to four days, I was able to move and maneuver around and like lift my arms a little bit more. So I feel like the recovery process is pretty normal when you go into surgery and have open wounds, you know? So when I flew back from my surgery, I could barely remember the travel because of the medications were really good. So, you know, I, I remember the experience of feeling my incisions, but after that medication kicked in, I was right to sleep, I was seeing Z's. So the first time I seen my wounds, I was like, yo, like I have scars on my breast. I've, I never had any scars or incisions before. So it was very like, yo, like kind of scary almost to see scars in my breast. Like, you know, they were cute, you know? So to see scars on them, it was just like nerve wracking. Like, dang, how are my breasts gonna heal now that there's scars? You know, I have the anchor scars. So there's the scars around the areola, then it goes down and then it goes under. So seeing those scars, I was really worried um, because like, you know, if I'm ever in a swimsuit, am I gonna see them? But honestly, after like three months, yo, Dr. Williams, my boy, you got me right. Um, my mom also got breast surgery, not from Dr. Williams, but she, we were comparing our scars. Like, yo, let me see your scars, let me see your scars. And when I tell you the incisions, are like precise, I swear to God, like they're almost gone already. And I haven't gotten any treatment when it comes to like, you know, massaging or anything like that. So I'm like super happy and like the uh, incisions around my areola are almost gone. So I, I'm happy with the results and I love my incisions. It's a part of my journey. So when it comes to sensitivity, when I tell you my breasts are so sensitive, like I didn't even know I liked my breast touched. You know, they're like overly sensitive and I, I'm in a relationship. So like usually I'm like the masculine one, you know what I'm saying? So when my girl, like, I think she hugged me and it was just like, oh, my, my, my nipples, I feel them. They're alive. Like, I mean, they weren't dead before, but it was just like, oh my God. Like the sensitivity, I, I think it went up after my surgery a hundred percent. I know it's a chance that some people can lose their sensitivity, but for me, 
So a few new things that I have discovered since my surgery is that I could run a lot better. Like, yo, when I used to run and jog, my, my boobs would just hit me in the face. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, I had to wear like two sports bra. But now, like after my surgery, like I can run and they, they just see, see how I'm moving now? They just right there. You know, instead of it's like, wop, wop, wop. So I feel like this is the best thing that's happened to me. So overall, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I think this was the best decision I've ever made. You know, I'm happier. I feel like my back is not hurting as much. Uh, my appearance looks a lot better. And this decision, I think it changed my life, you know? And I have, I feel like I'm gonna see more results too the more I lose weight because, and the more the swelling goes down. So I just can't wait to see the overall final process because like I said, look at look from the side. I look good. I know, stop looking at me like that. I look good. I, hey, stop it. I look good, I'm so happy. So if you want to get any type of surgery, especially, you know, a breast reduction, do it, I promise you. Especially from Dr. Williams, he will get you right and tight. Okay, this is the best decision I've ever made. I'm telling you my confidence level, your confidence level, even if it's not even about confidence, if it's about overall, just your physical, mental, all of that, get the surgery, you know what I'm saying? I'm Young Easy and I'm happy. I'm a YouTuber, content creator, actor, host, all of that, and it has boosted my confidence level. Got me a few more roles because of my confidence, and I'm just super happy with my results. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm out with my new titties. Boom.